The imposter is... this one!
Dex! I can't believe it. Then you're the one responsible for attacking Palma Costa and destroying all of those cities. Aw, oh, crap. So you found me out. Damn it. I was supposed to keep all of this a secret from you, Marta. What are you talking about? So then, Daddy ordered you to... Daddy? What do you mean, Daddy? Oh, I see. So you didn't tell them, did you? Yes, of course. If you did, you wouldn't be able to stay with them. What does he mean, Marta? Our dear little Mart Mart is the only daughter of the Vanguard's great Commander Brute. Zealous! Zealous! <laughs> Don't you dare take another step. I just love breaking the arms of cute little girls like you. Why, you little bitch. Long as I win. Yeah. You better not badmouth my precious little Alice or you'll have to answer to me. Dex, shut up. Now be good kids and hand over your cores and weapons. Mark Mark can bring them to us. Why are you doing this? What do you want with the Centurion's cores? We only really need Ratatosk's core. Commander Brute wants the rest for his little collection. Ugh, Dex, stop answering their questions. Uh, uh, sorry, my dear Alice. Now, Mart Mart, and please be quick about it. Not so fast. We're not gonna let you. So sorry to disappoint you. Ah. Is Celis all right? Yeah. Celis, we'll take care of Celis. Lloyd, this way. All right. You're not getting away. Wait! Not so fast. Don't interfere with my Alice. I'll protect her no matter what. Huh. Oh, really? You're going to stop me. You can't even put on cologne without screwing it up. Now bite the dust! Strong! Help us! 
slow! Strong! Phoenix Rush! Oh, healing power! <laughs> that was powerful! <laughs> Bring them back from the Don't abyss of battle! Strong. God, you're cheap! Ha! Won't work! Awesome! Oh, oh, won't work! Here. Here. Oh, healing power! It's over! Oh, he looks great! Strong! Oh, that's bad. No. Concent! Trade on the bell! Ausbrook! Ausbrook!
<sighs> that damn mail order exercise machine must have been a scam! Damn it. Dex, did Daddy really order you to do all of that? Did he order you to attack Paul Macosta? I was ordered to use the power of the Centurion's core to transform into Lloyd, then attack a meeting of the Vanguard. That would allow us to wipe out our internal dissent and place all the blame on the Church of Martell. <gasps> no, Dex. Rector! I'll handle this. Now go! Thank you. Wait a minute! Man, what is it with you people? Emil, farewell. Healing power. Oh, violent torrent. First aid. Kill. Mortal equinox. <laughs> Mortal winner. Young power. This is burn. Arise! Don't hate me because I'm so fine. Form a torrential vortex. Mortal water! It's over! I won't ask you to forgive me. You can curse me in hell instead. N no, Richter. <sighs> Aster. Master Richter. Esther? I guess that Richter didn't kill us after all. Celis! Right. Come on, Emil. Let's go after them. I wonder who... Esther is. Come on, Emil! Oh, uh, right.
heroes of world regeneration. This isn't looking very good for me. I know you have the cores as well. Now hand them over. Not a chance. You don't need them for the goals that you have in mind. Goals? You mean their intention of reviving the Silverant Dynasty? The Silverant Dynasty? Please, you guys can't be serious. Our commander is quite serious, I assure you. He's a descendant of the Silverant Dynasty, which fell 800 years ago. Someone's above us. Did you know that the Silverant Dynasty was destroyed by the Crucius Angels and the Church of Martel? Mart Mart, come back to the Vanguard. If you bring back Ratatosk's core, Commander Brute will forgive you. No way. I'll never go back. I took Ratatosk's core on purpose to stop Daddy's foolish ambition once and for all. Nobody likes a strong-willed little girl. All right, Dex, let's go. I'll follow you to the end of the Earth. Lady Marta, don't let them get to you. Oh, right. We're all wounded and tired. Let's go back to Mel Tokyo for now. I agree. Salus isn't looking very good either. Is that all right with you, Lloyd? Aster while he was looking at me. Aster. I guess that's someone's name. But why say it to me? I don't know. It really bothers me. I can't believe this. You're not the only one. How could they involve my poor sister in this? But what does this all mean? I'm so confused. Okay, the real Lloyd was the one gathering the cores. Meanwhile, Dex was posing as Lloyd and committing crimes in his name. Right, Emil? Who is Aster? What did he mean? What does Brute want with the cores? Is that exercise machine Dex ordered really ineffective? Has anybody tried it out? Proving which Lloyd was real and which Lloyd was fake will be difficult with only his own word as evidence. This is impossible! <laughs> Excuse me, Lloyd? Lloyd, bud. Lloyd? Lloyd, answer us. Come on, Lloyd. I have nothing to say. <sighs> Emil, you and Marta know this Richter person, right? You know him too, Colette? I think maybe we're friends? What? what? Well, my Crucius crystal, it's this pendant-looking thing I have. Anyway, he asked me to give it to him. Now that you mention it, the Vanguard has been on the lookout for the Chosen. Maybe they need the Crucius Crystals for some plan of theirs. When I told him I couldn't give up something so important, he said he'd have to take it from me by force. Did he threaten to kill you? No, but that scared me, so I tried to get away. Except I turned around and ran smack into the fence of a nearby house and broke it. The people who lived there were really angry. But Richter apologized with me and even paid them for the damages. And? He bid me farewell by saying, he'd let me go this time, but he'd take my Crucius crystal the next time we met. And then he left. Sounds more like a threat than a farewell. I think Richter's a chosen maniac, so he's really into collecting their memorabilia. 
That must be why he wanted my Crucius crystal. Sorry for the way I acted. It's nothing you should feel bad about. I had no intention of explaining myself from the beginning. Lloyd, why won't you tell us anything? Won't you talk to us? <sighs> there is only one way we can remove Ratatusk's core from Marta. We have to hatch all of the cores and wake up Ratatusk himself. Why are you after the cores? Maybe we can all work together. Then let's work together. You can start by giving all of your cores to me. This isn't about just me. If we can wake Ratatosk, all the strange weather around the world will finally stop. Maybe you didn't hear what I said. Hand over the cores right now. This isn't like you. Lloyd, why? Surely there's some reason you're behaving this way. Lloyd. Talk to us. There's nothing I can say for now. Lloyd! We have to go after him! It's no use. He has a Rayard. He's probably soaring through the wild blue yonder by now. Not again. And Celis isn't looking too good. Let's return to my estate for now. I'm sorry for putting you all through this. You're right, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice. Okay, let's hurry back to Mel Tokyo. talked about would never act like that, right? What is he thinking? Come on, Zelos, I know you can explain this. I'd like nothing more than to grant your wish, Marta, my angel, but I can't speak in Lloyd's place. Is that all you can say? I trusted him because all of you did. But it wasn't Lloyd who attacked Palma Costa and those other towns. I want to believe that the real Lloyd has a good reason for what he's doing. 
And I'm saying I want to know what that reason is. If he'd just talk to us instead of giving us the cold shoulder, we might even be able to help him. Marta. I understand you feel partly responsible for the things the Vanguard's done, but it's not a child's place to pay for the mistakes of their parents. And directing all that frustration at Lloyd isn't the right answer either. Though I do wish Lloyd would have said something instead of just turning his back on us. Zelos, I... Hmm? Fallen head over heels for me, have you? <laughs> You'd actually be pretty charming if you didn't say stuff like that. refused to talk to us. But he did save Celis. We can rest assured he hasn't really changed. Yes, I'm sure he'll be able to explain all of this someday. Yep, sooner or later keeping so many secrets to himself will be impossible for a guy as trusting as Lloyd. You're right. Oh, but I just hate not knowing the truth behind all this. It looks as though all we can do now is wait. <sighs> Colette's still as cute as a button, Sheena's curves are delectable as ever, and Marta's spunky attitude just gives me goosebumps. I think I've died and gone to heaven. As soon as we rescued Zealous, he's back to his usual self. Zealous is so... flighty. No, Marta. Zealous isn't flighty. He's shallow. C Colette? Who... who said that about me? Professor Sage. She said you're like a wading pool. Professor Sage can't swim, remember? I think she means she likes Zealous. <sighs> fine, fine. I'm a shallow man with obvious motives. So sue me. 